Hello friends, it's Nan. Um, I thought we would try something different and I ordered the Marker Universe box. This is the July Blind box. Marker Universe, MarkerUniverse.com. Um, you know I'm all about the pens and the, all that fun stuff so the July blind box is here. Um, they do have a challenge to use everything in the box um, to create a piece of art. Alright. Let's put this box to the side here. And... Oh yeah. Alright. So wow. I mean, I had seen people unboxing this and I was just like I mean you can't go wrong with all these beautiful pens okay so let's see we've got a couple looks like Tombow Tombow just gonna put these together by brand and then we'll swatch and see what we have okay Ooh, okay all right so let's look at these what is it? Graph O Twin Tip Marker Water Based. Okay, and it looks like we got a purple and a blue, Croatian blue. Yeah. All right, so let's just take a look and see how these are going to work. All right, so it looks like on this end we've got a bigger brush. Hopefully, I'm still on screen here. Okay, so that's that end. And then there's another, oh, teeny tiny. Teener tiner. All right. And then let's swatch this purple one. I, have, I definitely have one of, I think I have one of these in black. From maybe an art snacks box. I'm not sure, I think. But really cool, you can get some nice, uh, and I always want to know if it, because I like to touch up when I hand letter. Oh, that's nice. See how you can kind of get those rough edges off? Yeah. Okay. So those are cool. Um, let's do this guy. This is a Winsor Newton watercolor marker in Cad Red, Deep Hue. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright, so you've got one end that has this smaller tip. Oh, super juicy. Okay. And you can, um, I think that you can move these around with water pretty well. Oh, I like this brush nib. Beautiful. So really nice. It looks much darker on camera. It's a, a bit brighter. Okay. And there was like no menu or anything in this box. Like these were the only two things that came with it. So, I mean, which is fine by me, but. Um, okay, let's do these Tombow. The, I have one of these. I think I have it in pink. These are the um, Tombow Twin Tone. Um, they're also water-based markers. Almost the same. Oh, I smudged it. Almost the same color. And then you've got this teeny tiny little. These are fun, like for planners, <clears throat> excuse me, and journals. And this one is red. And then we've got a light blue. So, teeny tiny nib. And did I say that you could move these around with water? Because you can. So we got two of those Tombow Twin Tone. And while we're on Tombows, oh, looks like that marker top was off. I hope it doesn't. Um, we got three of the 
Tombow dual tip uh, water based markers. Now they don't have names, they just have numbers. Uh, you guys know that I, oops, I use these markers almost every day. They are absolutely wonderful. You can use them as watercolors. Um, love, love, love for hand lettering. And so we got this beautiful pastel um, corally orange color. We got this beautiful pastel blue, 491. And I thought that I had this one, but I actually have, um, it's much uh, darker. But you can see, it's like so light. The color's really light. I love it. Really nice. You can't hardly even see that. Um, yeah, Tombow and then the Karen Deco brush pens are my favorite. And then we got 977, which is this beautiful brown. And I always feel like I never have the right brown. And this is like a beautiful, like, earthy, I don't know, like, potting dirt soil brown. All right. Tombows. Okay, and then I'm kind of excited about this, even though, I don't know, I'm a little nervous. We, these are the chameleon markers, and these are the fine liners that they came out with. So they're kind of short without their top on. Um, does it have a name? Okay, this is RD5, and this is the chameleon fine liner. It's beautiful purple plum color kind of okay and then we got ol3 it's like this olive green now what you're supposed to do is there is supposed to be um there's ink also in this cap area so even though that these are short you still have ink in here um the tips match the tops so you can take the colors and mix them. So if we go one, two, three, and then we take it off, um, hopefully we'll get some gradient here from green and back into that plum. Yep. Oop. So you can kind of see it go there and then we'll do um, the opposite here. We'll go do the plum to the green. One, two, three, and then you just take it back off. And let's see. So, we got the plum. Oh, and here we go. Magically changing colors. And we get it all the way back to that olive green. So, very, very you know, fun. <clears throat> I think I'd have to play around with them to really be able to use them. All right. So, those are our chameleon fine liners. And then we've got two more here. We've got the Zig. Mangok, Mangaka O2 water based pigment and it is O2 so it is a fine liner but it is water based so you know it probably moves around with water really tiny lines so yeah for details and stuff I think it'll be great who doesn't love a good fine liner and then our last one is this Sakura Pigma Sensei C30. I, it's like a, it's almost like a chisel tip. Um, so you can get some really cool lines with it. Lines. Ooh, I sounded so southern. Um, I'm gonna have to play around with it because I. Not sure, but it's really, it's really juicy. Uh, the ink is really nice and dark. All right, I think we did everything. I just love this box. I mean, I can't get enough markers and pens as it is, and then all this funness. So yeah, I think I'll get, I'll definitely do this box again. This is Marker Universe. There you go. And it is the July Blonde Box. I hope y'all have a great week. All the love and light. Bye.